If you're new to watching competitive Rocket League, here is a lightning quick primer. At its base, Rocket League is very simple. Football in rocket powered cars. There are always two teams, a blue team and an orange team. The blue team's trying to score in the orange net. The orange team's trying to score in the blue net. For any competitive Rocket League that you might be watching, you will see a screen that looks something like this. The blue side, the orange side. Blue team, orange team. The color of the cars will usually follow the coloring theme and be some variation of either blue or orange depending on the player's team. However, this is not always the case, so the best way to determine who is on which team is to look at the player nameplates. The name of the blue team is here, the orange team here. The number of goals scored by each team is here and here, and in the middle is the timer, the time remaining in the current game. The current game of Rocket League ends at zero seconds. However, even when the clock has run to zero, the game will only end when the ball touches the ground. In theory, then, the ball could be kept off the ground indefinitely and the game would never end. At high levels of play, it is not uncommon for a game to run an additional 5, 10, or even 20 seconds once the clock has run to zero. Every series of Rocket League is either a best of 3, 5, or 7. Most common is a best of 5. Usually for a semi-final or a grand final, it would be best of 7. In order to win a best of 7 series, a team must win 4 individual matches. The number of games each team has won is shown here and here for each team. During a game of Rocket League, there will be multiple camera views showing the entire field, but most common is the point of view of a particular player on the field. This is called a focus card. The card shows the player's name, how many points they've scored, goals they've scored, shots, assists, and saves. The color of the card indicates if they're on the blue or orange team. Probably the most important item in a game of Rocket League is boost. Boost is what allows cars to travel at supersonic speeds and to take to the air. A full tank of boost is 100. The amount of boost for each player on each team is shown here and here. There are six full boost canisters on the field. Driving over these will fill the boost tank to 100, no matter how much the player currently has. There are also 24 pads or small pads scattered across the field, each delivering 12 boost into the tank. Every time a goal is scored, a replay of that goal is shown. On the screen will be the player who scored the goal, anyone who assisted the goal, and how fast the ball was going when it crossed the goal line. Rocket League is filled with plays, shots, tricks, all of them have a name. Here are the most common which you are likely to hear during a game. The demolition or demo is simply removing a player from the field for 4 seconds when you blow them up. To demo another player requires the car to be going at the fastest speed it can and making contact with an opposing player. It has excellent defensive and offensive use. The Flick as it says on the tin, the player will carry the ball and then flick it with extra speed. The air dribble is when a player will catch up to the ball in the air and keep it under his control for his desired play. The double tap, or simply double, when a player hits a ball to a surface and follows up and hits the rebound to that surface. Tap one, tap two, the double tap, the flip reset, or reset. This is the most difficult Rocket League mechanic to explain. For now, all you need to know is it is very difficult to do and it happens a lot during high level play. It requires the player to place all four wheels on the ball and it provides the player an additional bit of power for a final shot. And there you have it, the lightning quick primer. The rest of it, you will pick up as you go along. Happy watching.